going on guys, the Source Fox here today, back again with another EAFC 24 Hall to Glory save, episode 10 for you guys. Now in the last episode you did see the bunch of highlights we previously had and you saw the Middlesbrough defeat, the Rotherham victory and the surprise FA Cup game against Burnley that was thrown in the mix that wasn't scheduled before we advanced but yeah we ended on Burnley in the FA Cup and we did win. Following that, we did simulate the game against Blackburn Rovers at home, and we won 3-2. It's a bit a bit fortunate there. So in today's episode, we uh, we hold well, we go away to Ipswich, we go away to Swansea, and we welcome Millwall at home. So let's have a quick look at the league table, how things stand. Still sitting in fifth, looking to close the gap on Middlesbrough to four points. If we win today, well, if we win against Ipswich, that will obviously close the gap for the, for the time being as we have a game in hand. But hopefully we get good results across all three games and we just keep pushing away. We don't want to drop out of this promotion place as the pressure is slowly arising. I mean, we're holding out for fifth. Stoke on our heels on 47 points. But luckily, we've, like I said, we've got a game in hand over them. So hopefully that stretches our advantage. Norwich and Watford, QPR there, all trying to push into this playoff place. I mean, Blackburn and Cardiff and Birmingham, and maybe even Coventry. This is why the championship's so difficult, because it's always so close for the for the playoffs. But yeah, I mean, like I say, in today's episode, we do play Ipswich. We're down in 22nd. Swansea there in 14th and Millwall in 15th. If I say we don't know when the FA Cup game is going to be as there's still replays to be played. So that hasn't been drawn. But what Fabio Carvalho last episode, an absolute stunner of an episode. I mean, two fans still injured, so he can't leave, which is great. Because I don't want I don't want him to leave. I want him here next season. But I mean, Carvalho, 12 goals, 6 assists. I mean, Philogene got... Nice, well, he's on the top of the assists. Very nice there. I mean, in terms of clean sheets, I mean, Pandur's kept 8 and 23, which I suppose ain't too bad, but that's partly down to us having bad defending at times. But yeah, I mean, obviously, we're out of the January transfer window. We've got Josh King coming in on the pre contract next season, which hopefully, which is a nice addition to the squad. I mean, we haven't gone mad. I don't know what the budget's going to be like for next season. But obviously, we need to finish this season and do what we can. I mean, we're currently, what, 8.2 million in profit. We've earned 20 million. We're spending 12 million. So, we need to try and keep a positive financial gain and hope for the best next season. It's going to be a lot of rotating as well again for these next few games. It's going to be a lot of heavy rotation with a very small squad. I mean, what, a game, a game every three days, effectively. I mean, the team's already knackered from the Blackburn game, so it's going to have to just put a few players in and out. So that Rowry never seems to be tired. He's he's great. He really is great. But he's, he's a great little winger. I mean, and Philip Jean on the other side as well. Really responsive out of them two this season. So, yeah, enough rambling. Let's get away to Ipswich. Set and the prospect mouth-watering. Two teams at the peak of their powers, ready for a battle royal, serving as a true gauge of their ability to perform under pressure. Only one team can come out on top. Who will it be? We're live on EA TV. Day for football and cheers, Alex. Superb save. Seeing the issue. Great composure. Well, couldn't quite hit the target. Close though. Whoa. Could be. Oh, that is an out. Oh, a very disappointing strike. Whoa. The opener here with 48 minutes played. Oh, big opportunity. And the good. It's a fair price as well. Gives it a go. And still a chance. Playing it in. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. Oh. 
Ice here. And he puts it away confidently. And he's in. Opportunity still there. And it's in! They're back in front. Stunning scenes here. What an emphatic finish that is. This could level it. But denied by the keeper. And at this late stage... Must be. And still danger here. Full-time whistle. Another disappointing day for the home fans. Their abysmal record continues. Well, that sums up their form at home. They match their opponents in a lot of areas, but ultimately, they weren't good enough in the big moments. However, I did see a slight improvement today. it is for real the tactics and squad strengths have been analyzed by committed fans and neutral observers to the nth degree a confrontation that all football lovers will revel in knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion who will come out on top it's coming up live You always expect the passion to come through when you travel here to Swansea. Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. And he'll go back and have... It's a poor one, you have to say. Oh, great attacking play. Lack of guile. Good patient build-up as they try to fashion something. Oh, chance missed. Cutting it back. And it's in! 1 0. They finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. This could be the equaliser. And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. Can he find the net? And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Now the corner played into the box. Might still be able to... Oh, genuine chance. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Through ball, and when he gets on... Chance here. And saved by the keeper. Bench. He's driven in the corner. Last man back. Played towards the back post. Still possible defeat for the visitors, that's the big story. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today live with atmosphere and two teams ready to commit themselves to excellence for 90 captivating minutes we're privileged to be here on an occasion that resonates with football fans everywhere and if you think you know who's going to win you are courageous indeed stay with us live coverage right here on ea tv rightly proud of its own sporting traditions i'm talking of course about hull oh danger here can he put them in front well it was a wonderful chance but the has eyes for goal and push to battle hard defend well all over the pitch in it goes the opening goal in this contest Opportunity. Oh, did so well to deny him. Aim of finding an equaliser. Oh, good work by the keeper. And they've got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Passing it accurately. Giving it a try. 
And the keeper diving to thwart him. Well, they know how to pass the ball and at pace. Is this the moment? And effectively parried. Christie. And just putting it over the top. Could cross it in here. And really meet and faces. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal. That is the conclusion of this episode. Again, another close one. Not doing too bad. 2-1 away to Ipswich. Nice win, obviously. They're, they're fighting for their lives down at the relegation zone. I mean, we played quite well. 10 shots, 5 on target. They had 5 shots, 3 on target. But, again, we've had a little gem in a mirror. We haven't really used him. So, we haven't really been using him. Because Turfan and Carvalho took all the, all the, the limelight. But, I mean, a mirror, he's actually quite a little gem. He's done quite well. He's doing quite well for us. Well, yeah, he got a goal in the 16th minute, which put us 1-0 up, and it was a cracking goal too. Then, again, plenty of chances. But then, moving on to the second half, Broadbent did get a 67th minute penalty from handball from one of our players. And he did step up and equalise at 1-1. And then, Connolly got a late goal in the 78th minute and put us 2-1 in front. Got a nice break away in front of goal. And give us the victory on all three points, which is nice. And then Swansea, away to Swansea, a very narrow, it was a very narrow defeat. Again, we lost 2-1. Well, yeah, they had four shots, four on target, very clinical. We had six shots, four on target. Their keeper made a few saves when it mattered. Josh Janelli in the 37th minute, putting him in the lead. But then Liam Delap before half-time in the 40th minute, getting us an equaliser. And then Patterson got the winner to make it 2-1 in the 67th minute. And like I said, their keeper, we had, we had chances. There was no excuses about it, but their keeper just made the saves and kept them in it, and it was three points for Swansea. But then, moving on to Millwall, a nice 1-0 victory. Edged it out. They had three. They only had three shots, three on target the whole game, but Liam Delap did give us, not Delap, gave us the 19th minute goal, which gave us the win. We had six shots, five on target ourselves. So, yeah, I mean... We'll take three points. Six points out of a possible nine is very nice indeed. But looking at the league table after 32 games, I mean, we're still in fifth. But on a positive, we're one point ahead of Stoke. We're one point behind Middlesbrough. We're three points behind Leeds. And six points behind Southampton, who are now up in second. So it massively changes the dynamic of the the league table. So we're still we're still up there. We're still fighting, which is which is great, which is what we want. So next episode, we will be playing Leicester away at the King Power. We will welcome Birmingham at home. Obviously, that feels like ages since we played Birmingham because we played them on the first game of the season. But yeah, we will welcome Birmingham at home to the MKM Arena. And the fifth round of the FA Cup, which is the last 16, has been drawn. And we will host Norwich in the next episode. So, let me what Liverpool, Wolves, Swansea, Fulham, Arsenal, Forest, Spurs, Brentford, Chelsea, Newcastle, Man United, Palace, Man City, QPR. So, yeah, we welcome Norwich in the last 16. But, I mean, that Leicester game is not going to be easy one bit. I mean, dominating the league, 24 wins, 6 draws and 1 defeat, 78 points. Absolute domination. But, looking at the goals for and goals against, we've conceded nearly double the amount of them. But, we've actually scored one less than them so we've done quite well in that department but it's still going to be a very tough game nevertheless so yeah thanks for watching this episode hope you've all enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and come back for more and i'm out for this episode see ya